There are three reasons that people decide to study for and obtain their Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate. Now, the most obvious, of course, is because they have aspirations of earning revenue through the use of an unmanned aerial vehicle or a drone. In the United States and most other countries, you are required to have what most people refer to as a drone license. Even though it's technically not a license in the United States, here it's called a remote pilot certificate. And once you have that certificate and that credential, you are legally allowed to use a drone to make money and or to further a business financially. It's very simple. Now, the second reason that many people decide to get their Part 107 certification is because they genuinely want to learn as much as they can about drone rules, drone behaviors, flight characteristics, and so much more. They have a genuine desire to be as knowledgeable about drones as they can to ensure that they are doing everything correctly. And not just in regards to regulations, but also just knowing all that comes with owning a drone. Now, the third and less common reason to get a Part 107 certificate, but something that I think everyone should consider, especially as remote ID is now a factor, is to provide the ability to portray a level of professionalism to the general public when any unexpected interactions occur. Nearly every single negative interaction with a bystander can be mitigated with a simple sentence. I am a licensed commercial drone pilot through the FAA. Now, I do need to mention again, it is technically not a license, but that word alone is very familiar to most people. And when they hear it, they realize that you have a certain level of professionalism that most others don't have. Now, technically, you should state, I am an FAA certificated remote pilot, but that really isn't going to be clear enough for most people, and it's really hard to say. Stating that you are a licensed drone pilot off the bat kind of starts the conversation, and then you can explain in more detail what it actually is. And this shifts the conversation from, hey, what the heck do you think you're doing with that drone? To, hey, tell me more about what you're doing with that drone. It's kind of like casting a magic spell that removes bystander anxiety and uncertainty. Now, even if you may just be flying for fun in a public place, you can still help others rest assured that you know what you are doing by stating that you are a licensed drone pilot or a certificated drone pilot. Now, are there still going to be people that don't like you flying your drone around them? Of course, but at least it disarms the negative Nancys to help start a conversation. So what is the process of obtaining your Part 107 certificate? When you break it down, there really isn't too much to it. You go to the FAA Drone Zone website, and then you click on Certificated Remote Pilots, and you choose Become an FAA Certificated Remote Pilot. By the way, that is really hard to say, Certificated Remote Pilot. All of the instructions are laid out right there. You will need to create an IACRA account, and that's really easy to do. And then you register for your exam at a testing center near you. The fee for the exam is $175. And if you fail, there is no refund. There is actually a way to get your money back if you fail, which I'm going to tell you about here in just a minute. Now, is it possible for someone to take this two hour, 60 question, multiple choice exam and pass it the very first time without any studying or preparation? I'm sure it's probably been done, but the chances are extremely low, especially if you have no experience or knowledge at all about general aviation. A few of the questions on the exam are common sense and pretty much anyone could answer them, but the majority of them require you to be prepared. And a few of them are actually kind of like trick questions, which is a bit unfair, but if you study, you will get them right. I really think they put those in there to kind of weed out the overconfident ones that think they don't have to study for this test. So the big question is, how do you study? What's the best way to study for the FAA? Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate Exam, it really depends on what kind of student you are and really how far out you are from schooling. Because taking an exam when you're 20 years old is a lot different than taking an exam when you are 50 or 60 years old. Now, many people can just read a few pages, watch a video or two, and take the test and pass. Others require a significant investment of time and money to ensure that they pass, like me. 
It's really up to you to decide what's going to work best for you. Just to tell you my story, when I went into this, I had zero knowledge about anything related to aviation. I first started off by watching a few YouTube videos, but most of those were outdated and they didn't have all of the information. Then I used the FAA website to study, which was good knowledge, but it was incomplete and it wasn't really directed or real specific. So then I decided that since this was something I wanted to do for the rest of my life, I should probably look into an online study course. There are a few available out there, and after careful vetting of most of them, I chose to enroll in the Drone Pilot Ground School from UAV Coach. At the time, it wasn't the least expensive of them, but it was the one that had the information organized in a way that was very easy for me to follow. And then also, I like the fact that it had a money-back guarantee, so if I failed the test, they would not only pay for my exam fee, but they would also refund my study course fee. So that was really cool. It was, it was a no brainer because there was really no risk. Now, since then, I think other companies offered those same benefits, which is great. And I'll say this, to be honest, most of the online part 107 study courses are good. All of them are 100% worth your investment. And you will be so happy that you chose to use one to pass your exam. That being said, I really recommend that you take a serious look at Drone Pilot Ground School. This video is not sponsored in any way, but the biggest reason that I recommend them right now is that they have recently updated all of their content, which means that all of the information on there is current as of mid-2024. It's as new as you're gonna find, and they have added new information, flashcards, brand new videos, a cramming sheet, practice tests, and so much more. Now, to help promote this exciting update, they're offering a $100 discount on all of their courses until August 14th of 2024. And that includes the self-study course, the guided study with live instruction, and even the in-person hands-on course. A few other reasons I recommend Drone Pilot Ground School is because they always offer discounts for past and present military, for first responders and public safety employees, for STEM instructors and administrators, and discounts for employees of nonprofit organizations. And then finally, every year they donate to charitable organizations such as Freedom Service Dogs of America, Kids in Need Foundation, and National Forest Foundation. This is a good company, you guys, with good people. And they not only want you to succeed in your goals to be a commercial drone pilot, but they also believe in being good stewards of their communities. It's not too often that they offer sales like this one. So if you've been wanting to get your Part 107 for whatever reason, now is the best time to start studying. I just started the drone mapping course that they have. I would really like to start doing some drone mapping, but I have no clue on how to do it. So this is my first step and I'll keep you updated on how it's going. So are you thinking about getting your part 107? Let me know in the comments why or maybe why not. Maybe I can help answer some of your concerns. I will tell you it was one of the best decisions that I have ever made. And the revenue that I've made since becoming a Part 107 pilot has enabled me to do things I would have never dreamed of six years ago. Click on that like button, that thumbs up on your way out of the video today. Subscribe if you think this is a channel that you'd like to see more of. If you wanna be able to sleep without regret tonight, watch this video next. Have a great day everyone, and as always, fly safe and fly smart.